Hi guys, Zane here, and welcome to my March book haul. I have two books that have arrived in the post, so we're going to have a look at them. Um, basically, I normally, at the end of each month, I buy myself certain books. I actually buy two books from authors that I've read before, two books from authors that are new to me, and then two books from indie authors. Um, and that's my little treat to myself at the start of each month. So those are usually the first books that I receive. Okay, so here we have Agatha Christie, Death in the Clouds, which is Hercule Poirot novel number 12. I'd honestly never even heard of this one before, so um, kind of intrigued. He's, gonna, he's in a plane with a woman with a cocaine habit and a detective writer. Oh, that sounds, actually sounds pretty good from the synopsis there. And then we have this one as well, and this is, oh, this is two things. And these are two indies as well, these are my two indies. So we have... La La, oh, I'm off, out of shot. So we have La La Love by Katie Lewington, uh, which says, curl up with La La Love and receive all the fuzzy feels of love and the danger of its pitfalls. Uh, I'll read you a short one of her poems. This is called Kiss. You bite my hand, crackling bread roll and leave teeth marks. How fascinating. I place my mouth on yours. So, yeah, she just, she's always been very supportive of me as well, so I thought I'd uh, read some of her stuff. Although I have read some before as well, I enjoyed it. And here we have Filmic Cuts, Luchador Monkey Crisis, Volume 2, Short Stories by Ollie Jacobs. So, again, for the indie read-along, I've been doing a fair few Ollie Jacobs books. The uh, I read for last month, I'll link below actually, and I reviewed it, uh, f uh, f uh, Filmic Cuts... Sunshine and Lollipops, that was it, that's what the first one was called, and I enjoyed that one too. And I think I've read number five as well, they're all just short story collections, so you can read them out of order too. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Cool, alright then. Guess what I've got? That's right, I have a book. Here it is. And we'll look inside, Ooh. So this is Last Human by Doug Naylor. So Doug Naylor is one half of Grant Naylor who wrote Red Dwarf and this is a Red Dwarf novel. And uh... D -d 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 <laughs> okay, I was wondering, I wasn't sure if I'd read this one but I'm almost certain I haven't. Uh, so the, the blurb here, somewhere along the line he'd made a major mistake. Why else would he find himself on a prison ship bound for Siberia, the most inhospitable penal colony in deep space, sentenced to 18 years of hard thought? Dave Lister, the last human. The future of the species is in the hands of one man, and all he has to help him are his wits, his cunning, and a two-page girdle section from a mail-order catalogue. So yeah, uh, it's like humorous sci-fi, basically. Actually, if you like Douglas Adams, you probably like Red Dwarf, I would have thought. And I uh, definitely recommend checking out the TV show as well. You're probably better off watching the TV show before reading the books, because the, the TV show came first, and the, the books are written by the creators of the show and the screenwriters for it, but they did come afterwards. So, um, yeah, it makes more sense, I think, to watch the series first. And there are, like, 12 series now as well. It's been going... The first series was 1988, I think, the year before I was born. And uh, they did a few new season seasons recently, so yeah, very cool. Hello, um, I have got a parcel from Far Corner Europe. Interesting. Okay, I don't know what this is. Let me put the camera down briefly. Okay, so this is The Healthy Workplace by Lee Stringer. And I've got this to read it and to review it for a client. I've, I'll basically get paid to do a, a 2,000 word summary of it, so... I will uh, get started on that shortly. How very exciting. Cool. All right. Hello. I have got uh, a book that has come in the post. So while my camera is up here, I figured I would open it. Okay, so this is The Toyota Engagement Equation by Tracy Richardson and Ernie Richardson, founders of Teaching Lean Inc. And this is another one of the books that I will be getting paid to write a 2,000 word Sparknote style summary of. So, very exciting. Cool, I'll get to that soon. Possibly won't read it though, but we'll see. Hello, just got the one quick parcel here for you. And this is... Oh Jesus Christ. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Sometimes school can be a killer. A murdered girl, a closed case, an A-grade student who won't let it go. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And this is an... Is it an ARC? Oh, this is an uncorrected bound proof, and it is an ARC, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I don't often accept, like, review copies, but this one caught my attention. Hello! Uh, I have... This is uh, a card. 
Uh, I'll show it to you actually, I think it's cute. Um, it's for Bex's birthday, although I won't see her till after her birthday. And apparently I already got her a card and totally forgot about it. But uh, she loves Louis Theroux, so I got her this. It says especially Theroux. And then I have this from Book Depository. <laughs> It is HR on Purpose by Steve Brown, Developing Deliberate People Passion. And basically this is another one of the books that I have been getting paid to write reviews of. So I need to write a thousand words, uh, 2,000 words on this. Which might be interesting because it's only 140 pages long. I might actually read this one because uh, I haven't really bothered with the others. But uh, we will see! Alright guys, well that's about it for my march also. I'm going to end this video now and get it uploaded. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Also, as it's my haul, if you fancy buddy reading any of them, let me know. And if I haven't read them already, we can, uh, we can arrange that. Yeah, hit that like button for if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.